Hello Pisces, welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network you guys. We are going to do another reading, so let's go ahead and come on in. Y'all relax, get you something to sip on, some tea, some water, you know, PG stuff. <laughs> Unless it's late and you want to sip on something R-rated. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm playing y'all. <laughs> Hey Pisces, y'all be sure to subscribe, like the video, leave comments below you guys. Just get relaxed, get your notepad, whatever you need to do. Uh, we're going to get into this reading. Um, if you would like to participate in our personal reading special, I'm thinking about cutting it off soon. Because I'm tired, I'm tired boss, but I'm trying to give everybody an opportunity if you want to get a reading. All that information is below, okay? Now, I did get a message because they are cutting the grass and they're so loud. And I'm just going to let it be on here. Sorry, but um, they're cutting the grass. Um, I heard Lil Wayne saying, keep your grass cut. Ain't that a Lil Wayne song? But it made me think about, you know, you keep your grass cut low so you can see the snakes. Okay. I don't know what that means for y'all, but some of y'all may need to cut your grass. Your uh, HOA may be complaining. Or your neighbors may be complaining about your grass to the HOA, so cut your grass or get somebody to do it. Um, but there also could be a person who is like, you're going to thin out your circle or you're going to kind of like um, do some type of cutting out of people from your life. It's like you're getting closer to a situation or you're getting more clarity in a situation so that you can see the ops or the enemies that you may have okay what are the messages for pisces are you angels are angels spirit guides and ancestors father mother god for pisces fear oh my god so there's someone with some type of fear here we have ascending so you guys are okay so y'all are going to a new level pisces there's no denying it there's no changing it there's no fighting it it's black and white you are ascending to a new level. Your soul is evolving. And it's scary. It's really scary. Because, wow. There could be a relationship that's ascending to a higher level. There may be some intimacy here. Some of you may have gotten a little lucky. Little lucky duckies. Okay? But there could be a relationship that's going to a higher level here. And it could have you scared. Or it could have the other person feeling some type of fear. Because you are getting closer doesn't have to be sexual but i just think you're getting close to something and it's causing there to be fear okay you're evolving pisces and it's a personal thing but i also feel like it's in your relationships it's reflecting out into your relationships they are super loud so if you are going through a spiritual awakening or you are having some type of ascended um experience or an experience of ascension, there's gonna be an ascension that happens around you because as above, so below, as within, so without. Whatever you feel inside is gonna re be reflected out. And I feel like it's very scary, okay? It definitely could be very scary. Let's see. There's a lot of interference for you guys. Um, reaching this next level a lot of people are trying to step into the way so spirit really wants you to stay focused they want you to keep a close eye on your goals and make sure you maintain clarity when it comes to the, your goals okay don't get distracted what is this fear for Pisces what else do we need to know for Pisces yeah, justice. Ooh. So it's okay. Like, you're going to be afraid. Spirit is telling you that we're, they're walking you through this. You're going to be scared. With the lovers and the justice card, they know it's not easy. They know it's not something that you can just, oh, yeah, it's cool. Like, I can just snap in and snap back overnight. No, it's the choices that you're having. To, this is major, Pisces, with the lovers, the sun, and the justice. They're telling you that they're guiding you. So if you feel lost or if you feel like you don't know where to go, don't know what to do, your spirit team is guiding you. You lost an attachment with someone here. Yeah, there was some type of... Mm, you, 
okay there was some type of loss that took place i don't know if it was you or someone else someone lost something or you feel like you're grieving a connection that was really really strong something that you feel like you put time into effort energy and you're really attached to it, or you were very attached to the outcome you feel like you have to let this go or leave this behind and it's really stressful you could also be feeling the stress of someone else's ascension depending on who's in your life and how you're connected to them but it's like spirit is literally guiding you through this grieving pr process or they're guiding you through detachment from whatever this toxic situation is. If somebody's holding, if there's a King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Capricorn energy, possibly Gemini, maybe even Libra with the Justice card, maybe even Taurus, strong Capricorn and Taurus, Leo, Libra or Gemini. If there's somebody who's been holding back funds, or trying to hold on to you, that's gonna be found out. Or there's gonna be some type of communication about this. Yeah. But whatever you're going through, you're being guided through it. You're gonna be afraid. There's gonna be fear. What else for Pisces with this justice and this fear? Like you're supposed to be scared so that it can build your confidence. This is so that it can build your confidence. Oh my God, something something is... Y'all are about to get into something that is meant for you. It's like it's your calling or it's... It, spirit is taking you through the obstacles and helping you have a navigational system because it's something that's meant for you. Five of Wands... Yeah, it's it's teach whatever this is that you're going through your life experiences right now. It doesn't even matter what it is. Y'all know what it is. We've been talking about it. These life experiences, these struggles, these challenges, these trials, tribulations are leading up to your triumph. And spirit really wants you to be confident in this next level. Oh my god, that was crazy. The wind just blew. Y'all probably heard it if you run it back. All of the papers just said at the same time. It was so creepy. Okay? Yeah, this emperor. Yeah, because it's not easy to be an empress. It's not easy to be an emperor. It's not easy to reach the top. It's not easy to be at the top. It's some it's some dog eat dog shit that happens at the top. And I think spirit is trying to prepare you for that because you're getting really close to that level. And they want you to have the utmost confidence in yourself to where so so you're not doubting your choices and you're not doubting your discernment at this next level there's something really big about to happen in your life pisces okay so just know that this fear is it's natural it's natural what you're feeling it's natural what you're going through and spirit wants you to know that and they want you to know that they have your back you don't have to worry about anything please don't stress about nothing I'm telling you, because the more you stress, the more you put an obstacle in, in your way. What else for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Desire. Some, oop, someone is desiring you. So there could be a, there, any of the signs that I called. I think I called Libra, Gemini, uh, Leo, Capricorn and Taurus, maybe even Aries because the emperor is right there. But there is a person who is desiring you. They feel like you are their justice and they're afraid because maybe the relationship is going to the next level or they want the relationship to go to a, a, a ascended level. They want it to move forward. Somebody may want to ask you to be in a relationship with them. I feel like someone is going to approach you and ask you to be exclusive or to be in a relationship with them or they may want to take it to the next level sexually. I don't know what that means for you. But someone is really desiring you and it's because you're confident. It's because I feel like it's because you push back. Like you're not a pushover. You're not a weak bitch. You're not a you're not a, a bitch made man. You know what I mean? And somebody really feels like you are their justice. They want to be in a relationship with you. Or they desire to be in a relationship with you. And they could be looking at the situation from another perspective. Also, the career you want, the title you want, the position that you want, the accolades that you want, Pisces, whatever you desire 
is within reach you are basically saying that it's it's karmically meant to occur with the justice card but there's certain conflicts or there's certain obstacles either within yourself or around you that you have to overcome before you can get there and i feel like one of the the major obstacle is fear a lack of confidence insecurities <clears throat> self-deprecating thoughts that's what you have to overcome you you cannot be afraid to say what it is you feel like you need to say. What else for Pisces? Okay, we, oh, bitch, I know you lying. <laughs> Yin and Yang, I'm not even gonna read it because fuck that word, no, I'm just playing. It does say twin flames. Yin and Yang, Zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. So somebody may feel like you are their twin flame, but we have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it, yeah. And it's not enough. Like there may be somebody i feel like pisces quite frankly for several of you you have a lot of people who want to be with you in a relationship they want to be exclusive 1101 was just on the timer you have a lot of people around you that you just feel like you're not getting enough energy from they're not on your level or they're just not putting in the real effort to have what it is that they claim that they want with you and i think you're just over it you just feel frustrated Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. We have self-sabotage and sabotage. So there's a person who's around you who's very insecure and they sabotage the relationship with you because they feel like they're not good enough or they feel like maybe you don't want the same things that they want. So they basically fuck it up. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. They fuck it up. But they want you so bad. Okay, so what... And I also think that's you too. I feel like you sabotage yourself because it's like you're running away from the very thing that you need. Like if you think about a twin flame connection, you may have a twin flame connection with your career, to be honest. Um, it feels like you have a twin flame connection with your career because it's like runner chaser. It's like when it's chasing you, you run from it. But when it runs from you, you chase it. And there has to be balance. There has to be balance because I feel like you are meant to be brought together into union with your dreams, with your goals, with you, what you want to manifest. You're meant for it. Like, because if you think about twin flames, they're two people who people consider to be meant to be together or they have a strong soul connection or something that's, you know, in your DNA, whatever. But that's what I feel. You could be sabotaging yourself out of fear. Mm hmm. So what is Pisces advice? What does Pisces need to do in this situation? What is Pisces advice in this situation when it comes to this energy? The Empress, I, I'm telling y'all, don't worry about anything. The Empress, the, this is what it is. You have fear because you're worried. And you're worried because you have fear. And that's why it's, it feels like this push and pull of resistance when it comes to getting what you want. But as soon as you stop fighting it and just do what you feel like you're guided to do, say what you feel like you're guided to say. Some of the things that I've said on this channel in the past few readings, you know, may, many people may think that I shouldn't say it, but is it gonna change me? No, I'm gonna say what the fuck I need to say. This Empress card is basically saying that you have to know that everything that's meant to you is gonna come to you regardless of the outside forces or regardless of any type of interference that you always have a flow of abundance pisces your advice is to kind of rest in your femininity as well even if you're like a male some of you are trying to force a situation too much with this emperor energy and it could be causing some type of conflict it's like it's okay you're meant to have what you're meant to have you just have to go with the flow of how it's coming into your life and discern the different situations that you're in so that you can follow your intuition towards the most productive outcome. And I feel like that requires you to rest in this femininity. Don't speak, maybe don't speak as much or really be in this divination. I feel like your spiritual practices are very important right now. Praying, meditating, yoga, walking, reading, writing, uh, sound meditations, sleep meditations, um, I don't know, fucking talking to yourself in the mirror, hyping yourself up, doing a Superman pose, whatever it is that you do that 
constitutes this prayer energy, this four of swords energy, restfulness, peace. That's what you need to do. The more at peace you are, I feel like the more pretty up, yep, the more productive you are, the happier you are, the more productive you are, Pisces. If it comes to a person who's running from the relationship or you feel like you're not getting enough from this person or they're self-conscious and insecure, even though they want to be with you, they're scary and they're fearful and they sabotage the connection. You're being told not to say anything. Rest in your femininity. Don't be trying to, oh, well, you can do it, baby. No, because then you're always going to be doing that shit the whole way through the relationship. Free yourself. Treat yourself. Watch Parks and Recreation. If you ain't never watched Parks and Recre motherfucking Asian, you need to watch it. It's hilarious. Treat yourself. Sometimes you do need to treat yourself. Sometimes you do need to pamper yourself, Pisces. Sometimes you do need to get your hair done, your nails done, your feet done, pedicure, even if you're a man. Please take care of your feet. Um, also, you know, eating a nice meal or whatever it is, you got to just do for you. And you have to just let things come to you more often and not force it. Okay, what's this Empress energy for advice for Pisces, the Eight of Cups? Go where you're appreciated, not tolerated. King of Cups. It's like you have to have confidence that what you need is going to come in because that shows the universe that you're not afraid. Like if there's anything that you feel like you're lacking right now, give it to God. Pray about it. Say how you feel about it and say, you know, I give control to you, God, or whatever you, however you pray. Just do that shit and go into the unknown without fear. Don't just settle for something that you're not completely, you know, happy about or that you're not completely fulfilled or satisfied in just because you don't know what's on the other side of walking away from that. Right. And especially if this is a person, it's like you have to you can't be just for you in general, Pisces, you can't be afraid to go at it alone. You can't be afraid to do it by yourself. You can't be afraid to go into the unknown. This may be in a relationship where you've been dealing with somebody or you've been dealing with some some of the same type of people or whatever. And you're just tired of accepting that mediocrity or you're tired of accepting the bare minimum in whatever situation it is. Work, relationships, personal, romantic, platonic, professional. You can't be afraid to go at it alone. Yep. Because I feel like that confidence of knowing that even if you are alone, you're going to be successful. That confidence is going to bring you what you want. It's going to keep perpetually continuing the momentum of you getting what it is that you want. Okay. What else is the Empress with the eight of cups for Pisces? Okay. Interesting. So we have the four of cups. The king of swords and the temperance card. I just got Scorpio Sagittarius. So it could be somebody with a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. They could also have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their chart. Maybe Cancer, Taurus, Virgo. I was also I, strong Scorpio Sagittarius and Virgo. Possibly Taurus and Libra and Gemini. But it's like the universe is bringing... Hmm... The universe is bringing you into the next portion of your journey. You're ascending. So that's all I can say. That's all I know. You're ascending. There's no telling what's on the other side of this mountain. Like, the, you've been helped along to this particular point. But it's like God, spirit, angels, ancestors, they can only do so much. Like, they can't move unless you ask. They can't help unless you unless you reach out. They can't do more than what they're able to do on their end because you have to put in that effort too. So it's like basically this King of Swords to me is basically saying that you've obtained a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge and you have so much of a reservoir of information that has basically been given to you to get you to the point where you are. But now it's like you have to have the courage to step out on faith and walk into the unknown so that there's so that the universe can do more to work with you, okay? So that spirit can do more and bring more into your life. Okay. Yeah, and it's like this this five of pentacles. It, 
Yeah, I just feel like your advice is basically saying that you have to overcome your fear. Or you have to look at what you see as insecurities from a different perspective. Like anything that you feel like is an insecurity, try to flip it around and see how it can be an advantage. Or see how it can be uh, maybe something that sets you apart from the crowd. You know? Because sometimes we see things about ourselves as weaknesses, but they're really an advantage or they're really something positive. Um, whoever this person is who's desiring you, feeling like you're their justice, they really don't want you to walk away from them, but they know they kind of feel like they're out of your league. That's what I feel. I feel like this person kind of feels. They kind of feel like you're out of their league a little bit. And I just feel like they get in their own way because they have some type of fears or insecurities. And they know that like at any moment you can choose to drop them like a hot plate. That's what I really feel. This is a lot. It's not a lot for you or me. It's a lot for this person. What else does Pisces need to know? in this situation oh my god wedding look somebody trying to get married Ooh, family issues and petty so somebody may want to marry you or somebody may see you as their future spouse but i feel like they grew up in their childhood dealing with a lot of family issues or there was a very toxic home environment that this person grew up in Ooh, freaky They grew up in a toxic home environment. I don't know what that's about, but that's what I feel like is causing this person to be very petty or immature. What else does Pisces need to know? Stalking. What? I cannot. Look at this person with their hood on. This could be someone you were married to at some point that you had a toxic family environment with. They could be stalking you. You could definitely have somebody who wants to have a family or a marriage with you that's stalking you. This is crazy. Yeah, somebody may have their sister or their sibling stalking you, watching you, or this person is curious about you. I don't know. Yeah, somebody's sister is stalking somebody. Interesting. Can I get one more card for Pisces? Love. Yep, it's because of love. It's because they feel like they love you. But they're so... They're so... I don't, I don't know. This person is like so petrified that's what i feel is petrification grandpa look at that <laughs> and mother figure maybe they're older than you maybe you have a child they maybe they, maybe they're older than you you're a single parent or you're older than them they're a single parent i don't know maybe that's why Somebody could have gotten some type of mental issues that passed down from their generations before them, their father, their grandfather, things like that. Or their mother. Yeah, they, they may have a weird, I don't know. There may be something weird. There's a weird family dynamic with this person. Maybe their family interferes a lot with all this noise. But I did say y'all were keeping the grass cut, so... I feel like mm, the less gray area that you kind of allow in situations, Pisces, the more clarity you're going to have about who's really on your team, who you can truly trust. Okay. What is the advice for Pisces? Go with the flow. See, that's what I'm saying. Let things flow to you naturally. Oh my God, swim away. Oh. <sighs> 
If somebody swims away from you, just go with the flow. It doesn't matter. If they want to leave, let them leave. I guarantee you there'll be somebody else. What this summer has proved to me is that spirit guarantees that there will always be another person, okay? <laughs> and I, okay? Yeah, swim away and release. So if you have, if somebody swims away from you, let them go, release. If you feel like you have to swim away from somebody else, you need to, I, I, you just need to do it because at some point they're gonna let it go. They're gonna have to let it go, okay? So I hope that helped you guys. Thank you, Pisces. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe. Leave me your comments below. Let me know what's going on. Put the brains in the comments. Uh, affirmations, gratitude list. If you guys want to participate in the personal reading special, all the information is below. And I'll see you guys next time, Pisces. Remember, this is our circle booze. Bye.